Okay, so we're given a function here, y equals x squared times e to the x, and we have to show or prove that the second derivative subtract the first derivative, subtract some weird thing here, 2 e to the power of x times 1 plus x equals 0. Okay, so anytime we're given a function, uh, something that says show, it, it helps because what we're given a bit of a hint as to how to find the solution, and that is simply to calculate this, calculate this, stick it into an equation, and hope that when we do all the um, simplifying that we're going to end up with 0. Okay, so that's what we're aiming for. So let's find the derivative first. First derivative. Okay, so what we'll we use here, we'll use the chain, um, the product rule. So I differentiate the first one, 2x times the second, plus the first times the derivative of the second, which is e to the x. And I differentiate it again, because we're going to need the second derivative for this bit here. So what's the derivative of this? So we'll use the product rule again. And this time we'll say 2x is the first bit, and e to the x is the second. So the derivative of the first is 2 times e to the x, plus the first times the derivative of the second, 2x e to the x, and plus, and now we need to differentiate this. Um, okay, so we can go through these steps again, but given that this is the same as the original function, we know what its derivative is, its derivative is all of that, so we can just um, save ourselves a bit of time and just type, uh, write all of that down. Okay, so is there anything we can simplify there? Yes, yeah, so we've got 2x e to the x and 2x e to the x. So we've got 4x e to the x. Um, that's all. The other bits we can't simplify, so we just have to leave them there. Okay, now let's plug all of this. So let's plug this one um, back into the original function here, uh, equation, and plug this one into the original equation. So what do we get? So we get the second derivative first, so let's write that out, 4x e to the x plus 2 e to the x plus x squared e to the x. Subtract the first derivative, so subtract this, um, this thing here, so 2x e to the x, subtract x squared e to the x, um, and then subtract this other bit that's here. Uh, let me multiply that out. So you get minus 2 e to the x minus 2 x e to the x. Okay, and what does that all equal? So we've got 4 x e to the x here. We've got minus 2 and minus 2. So those cancel out. We've got 2 e to the x here, and that cancels out with that 2 e to the x and x squared e to the x cancels out that minus x squared e to the x, and we end up with zero. Therefore, we've got our answer.